Hey folks, this is my sister's TW400 trail wagon. I brought it home for the winter at five or six years old and never had much maintenance. Changed the uh, engine oil and the transaxle oil. I brought it home really because uh, the maintenance and has one major problem. Every time it gets cold at the cabin, we're unable to shift it into gear. It'll be locked up wherever it is and if it gets left in forward or reverse or whatever. It's kind of a hinky system. Let me show you what it is. You see in there, there's that spring and two cables. To shift, there's one cable that pulls and one cable that pushes. And that goes back to the transaxle. And you see right down in here, this great big thing, it's, it's uh, like a big half moon. One cable's on the top right here, and there's one on the bottom. And it's got to be moisture in there because every time it gets below freezing, this thing locks up. And to bring it home, it was all froze up. I had to, this is still loose. I took it apart so I could shift it by hand to load it up on the trailer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull one of them cables and we're going to take a look at it and see if we can see what the problem is. This thing's not easy to work on the way it's made. Everything's up under the seat. But what I'm thinking is that tunnel right there will come out and I'll be able to get to most everything. If not, I'll at least get to see what's underneath it. I got it off. Finally. Okay, I got the tunnel off. I got it cleaned out, kind of, sort of, underneath it. What I'm going to do is uh, loosen the cable on the transaxle. It's got a funny thing on the cable, so it's, it's not easy to unhook, I don't think, there. So I'm going to loosen it there first, so there's slack in in the first cable go to this end and I think you just unhook the spring and that cable will, not, will unhook on that end we'll find out I believe I already have this one loose from bringing it home I had to loosen this in order to shift it so we'll make it more loose Alright, after loosening that all up, it appears that, yes I can, actually, pivot that around. And there's that little deal I was talking about. Huh, that's pressed on there. I don't think that nut will go over top of it. Is this split? How is that on there? Sure chewed up. I guess it goes over top of it. How much you want to bet that nut don't go over top of that? Nope. Okay, it just fell out of there. And you know why it just fell out of there? Because what I can't see... Looky there. See that slot right there? That goes through. That goes in like that. There's a slot. You bring that out and the cable falls out. Just messing with it, it fell apart on me. Okay, good. Okay. This is kind of good news. Is that cable, you can hear it. Listen. So it's moving on the other side. I do not feel the need to take that completely out of there. What I do feel the need to do is... 
find my blue creeper. All right, here we go. There's a blue creeper. That applicator, I can put that right down in there. But I'm going to put it all down in there and let gravity get it to the other end. And guarantee if there's any kind of corrosion in there, this is going to take care of it. It's going to lubricate. It's not going to freeze this next winter. All right. I'm going to leave that up in the air for a little while. So gravity can take her on down. Okay. So what I want to do is, because I'm extremely dyslexic, is... Get that just started back in there. So I don't get them mixed up. Now, hopefully, you can see this one down here. There. So there's that one. All right. Got the camera where you can see I've got that other cable up to where I can look it over. I have not tried to push the cable in and out on this one so I don't know. Seems to be loose. You know, just imagine any moisture down in there. Any moisture at all down in there and then we're gonna freeze. That fine needle gets it in there I'm patient. I don't know how else you'd get it in there going on the floor. You don't have to worry about blue creeper like you do some of that other stuff that smells bad. And all right, I'm gonna have to take out of here and go see what my dogs have got an issue with. All right, I brought my critters in, so if they bark, they're going to be barking at me. I don't think they'll bark at me. Will you guys? What's your deal? Huh? I know, it was your buddy out there barking at stuff, not you. Yeah. This applicator lets me put it right down. I, I filled the bottle when y'all weren't looking. A little bit of blue creeper goes a long ways. I remember my when my wife was the transportation superintendent at the school, their mechanic was working on a school bus and he'd been working to get this harmonic balancer off. Tried and tried and tried and she had this bottle of Blue Creeper in her car and she brought it in and said, try this. He had had to pull her on it for like a day. So he humored her and uh, squirted some Blue Creeper around it and stuff. And uh, just after that, they went into lunch. They're all sitting in their break room. And all of a sudden they hear, go wham, out in the shop. And they go out there and the harmonic balancer was off. And that mechanic was sold forever. I've been sold for a long time too, so. All right. You know, there's no way of showing you, but I absolutely can feel the difference in that cable. 100%. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get up in under the front and do, put some more in the cable. All I had was some spray stuff up at the cabin this winter and I... So, I think that I can do I'm going to leave that one unhooked because that might 
If I need to move some stuff around up front, that might enable that. What were you barking at out there? Do you know? Do you have any idea? Or was you just barking to get me out there? Wait a minute. Hey. Alright. You want to go back outside? Say please. Say please. Hey. Say please. They want me to go play. So, I'll be back. This is probably the only only way you'd ever get any lubricant into that, that needle applicator there. Oh. There. Now to put it all back together and uh, figure out how to get it adjusted back up the way it's supposed to be. Got the heater on, so it might be hard to hear me. Um, I found these in my junk drawer, uh, treasure drawer. The rubber, what I believe I can do is uh, poke a hole, and I think I can push them over top of the cable and stuff and make new weatherproof boots for those. There was only one on it, and it was kind of ripped up. I pulled it on off when I took it apart. So. So I'm going to waterproof it and get those back together so we can start adjusting. Okay, I don't know what size drill bit that is, but I proclaim it to be the correct size. I'm guessing it's about the size of the cable. Okay. I would hope that if I can get the cable through that, that uh, that'll weather tighten it. Wrong. Hey, it's a balmy, 40 degrees out. And uh, because of that, I opened the door because I do have this put back together, the cables. I'll show you up in there, I'm pretty pleased with my uh, weather boots you know can we see them where's my finger right right there okay so i feel that i have it adjusted properly to do that what i made sure is the transaxle was in neutral and i tried to make sure that that half moon shifter thing was in the center of whatever free play it had in neutral then I made sure that the shifter was in neutral. And then I uh, started adjusting it until both cables were not tight, but until there was no play in them. So what we're going to do is, since I got the door open, I did start it and run it for a little bit. I haven't went anywhere. I'm not going to go very far now. Just to make sure it shifts in the forward and reverse. All right, by the way, those, uh, the, those little rubber things I found, I remembered what they were. What they were was vacuum line plugs for plugging off vacuum lines on carburetors and stuff that I had from Mr. Truck. Watch out, boy. I've not got the seat on. There's a toolbox hole underneath. So oh, I'm gonna sit it. Oh, that's kind of nice. Um park break off. Choke still not put back. Alright, let's try reverse first because I've got a lot of room to go forward. Good. Neutral. Forward. Got high going right away. We're good. Just got to put everything back together. Put the seat on. Um, and I'm going to call this one good.
I think that the Blue Creeper was the only answer for this. I wouldn't have, wouldn't have wanted to have to replace the cables. And I think I got enough in there. I got it in from both ends, so if there's low spot, if there, it'll be in the center. And I'm not scared of it being in there whatsoever. In fact, I want it in there. And I'm hoping... Um, I needed to get this, this done. You know why? It's because i got to make a beer delivery up to the UP because my neighbor plowed me out, and I'm kind of excited. I've not been excited in two months, I don't think. I'm going to go to the cabin and prune apple trees and uh, maybe do some hinge cut on some ash. I don't know. That might be kind of iffy being up there by myself. But uh, anyways, thanks for watching. Hope this helps anybody that's got one of these. And uh, see you later. years old and never had much maintenance. I changed the oil, engine oil, and the um, trans gear, trans rear end, and changed the rear end loop. Yeah, I changed the rear end loop. That's what it is, the rear end. Trans axle. All right, you got outtakes already. Changed the uh, engine oil and the trans axle oil. And to do that, what I did was I made sure that the transfer case, transfer case, to do that I made sure that the, um, the heck is that called? Why do I always have trouble with that name? To do that, what I made sure is the transfer.